Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisance as all goes to Sri Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to this morning, so today's class, and um, we're happy to see quite a bit of devotees join, you know, joining us today. Today we'll be covering Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 16, Verse 10, and the chapter is entitled, How Marsh Parikshit Received the Age of Kali. We have heard the glories of Marsh Parikshit, his admi administration, his valor, um, how great of a leader he is. And how he protected the citizens, you know, being the, the wonderful, perfect uh, leader that he is. And then we're going to hear how um, Kali creeps in to the kingdom. So without further delay, we will pass this on to Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you and Prabhupada Maharaj. Uh, If you hear my teeth chattering, then you'll understand my situation. This is very cold. <laughs> Marsh, where are you in right now? Are you still in Mayapur? I'm in Delhi, but no heat. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Yeah, I just uh, pray to the heat god, well, whoever he is, to send something. <laughs> <laughs> the heat god, I like that. Surya Dev Maharaj, I think. I don't know who it is. Well, there might be more than one, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get close to the, the radiator, but I can put out any heat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and here we just got about, I think, two or two inches of snow here. So, yeah, we got the Hare Krishna. Well, I, I got snow inside. You got it outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maharaj. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me situate myself here. No problem, Raj. Please take your time. Okay, so let me just do something right there. Can you see me? Yes, March. Perfect. How about now? No, no, March, we can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. How Maharaj Parikshit received the age of Kali. How Chandramali Swami is receiving the age of. <laughs> Discomfort. <laughs> Same thing. No difference. Okay, at least I can understand what it means to read Bhagavatam now. <laughs> <laughs> In the cold with no heat, right, Maharaj? Well, we're trying. <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> True, Maharaj, it could be worse. We okay. just got to remind ourselves about that. Here you go. Sutta Uvacha, Om Namo. Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate 
Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Tuta Uvacha Yadam Parikshet Guru Jangale Vasat Kalimpa Vistam Nija Chakra Vartite Isamyavartam Anti Priyam Tattaha Sarasanam Sam Yuga Soundir Aldade let me get my glasses here. Okay. Sutta Goswami said, while Maharaj Pariksit was residing in the capital of the Kuru Empire, the symptoms of the age of Kali began to infiltrate within the jurisdiction of his state. When he learned about this, he did not think the matter very palatable. This did, however, give him a chance to fight. He took up his bow and arrows and prepared himself for military activity. Purport. The state administration of Maharaj Priksha was so perfect that he was sitting in his capital peacefully. But he got the news that the symptoms of the age of Kali had already infiltrated into the jurisdiction of his state. And he did not like the news. What are the symptoms of the age of Kali? They are, one, illicit connection with women, two, indulgence in meat eating, three, intoxication, and four, taking pleasure in gambling. The age of Kali literally means the age of Claro, and the above mentioned four symptoms in human society are the root causes for all kinds of quarrel. Maharaj Prikshit heard that some pe some of the people of the state had already taken to those symptoms, and he wanted to take immediate steps against such causes of unrest. That means that at least up to the regime of Maharaj Prikshit, such symptoms of public life were practically unknown, and as soon as they were slightly detected, he wanted to root them out. The news was not palatable for him, but in a way it was because Maharaj Parikshit got a chance to fight. There was no need to fight with small states because everyone was peacefully under his subordination. But the Kali Yuga miscreants gave his fighting spirit a chance for exhibition. A perfect Kshatriya king is always jubilant as soon as he gets a chance to fight just as a sportsman is eager when there's a chance for a sporting match. There is no argument that in the age of Kali, some symptoms are predestined. If so, then why was their preparation for fighting out such symptoms? Such arguments are offered by lazy and unfortunate men. In the rainy season, rain is predestined, and yet people are, take precautions to protect themselves. So in the age of Kali, the symptoms, as mentioned above, are sure to infiltrate into social life, but it is the duty of the state to save the citizens from the association of the age of, agents of the age of Kali. Maharaj Pariksit wanted to punish the miscreants indulging in the symptoms of Kali and thus save the innocent citizens who were pure in habit by culture of religion. It is the duty of the king to give such protection and Maharaj Pariksit was perfectly right when he prepared himself to fight. And began to meet him the Syangina Jana Savakaya. So in the Litam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurvin Mahanama on Vishnu Badaya, Krishna Prasaya Vito, Sri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Pinamini Namaste Saraswati Gurve. Goravani Pacharya Nidhi Vasesa Sunyavadi Pasya Pavani Satyarani Nasi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sula Dvaita Sudhakar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakti Vrindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Hare
the prime duty of the head of state, the president, the king, the chief executive, is to uh, to serve the citizens. A father serves the family, mother also. A guru tries to serve the disciples by giving relevant knowledge and practical understanding of how to advance towards the goal of life. A teacher, according to his subject matter, teaches for the benefit of those he teaches. Nowadays, people perform activities to get not to so much for the benefit of those who are there to receive it, but to get some power, position, and mostly money. So people today are, this is the influence of the age of Cully, that the heads of state are not qualified to lead because they, their motivation and to, to uh, take the position is personal aggrandizement, personal gain, where the whole principle of life is based on service. Anything anyone does is meant to serve another person, an object, a situation, and ultimately the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So the motivation of service means to uh, offer something beneficial, relevant to those that they're, they're served. Well, the king, he um, has to make sure that there, everything goes on peacefully in his, in his kingdom. And if there is some discrepancy, some infiltration from some undesirable elements, then his duty is to remove that. And um, therefore, he's called Naradeva. He's actually uh, uh, representing the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the role of administrating the state. And therefore, he has a, uh, what we say, an invulnerable duty to uh, make sure that his citizens re is, is free from harm, free from diseases, and executing the goal of life, uh, self-realization, in other words, spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. And now here is this is somewhat of an a interesting dichotomy here. Um, although uh, he was not happy to receive the news, at the same time, there was a sense of happiness that came with that because being a Kshatriya, uh, that the martial spirit is there within their character. They take pleasure in giving protection to others and defending others. They have the fighting spirit. They don't use that spirit in a, an aggressive way, but in a protective way. And so Maharaj was feeling Arch Pariksha was feeling he now he had a chance to fight. And uh, so using that, just like we had the example of, uh, this is a course, a kind of a crude example, but Banasura was a demon. And he had, he had pleased Lord Shiva so nicely that Lord Shiva had granted him the boon of having 1,000 arms. And with those 1,000 arms, he used to play music or beat on drums and Shiva would dance and Shiva enjoyed that. And therefore he reciprocated by giving him this benediction of having many arms. But now, he, because of his demoniac nature, he wanted to fight. But who could fight with him? Nobody would fight with him. And so he was frustrated having that so he would go and pound mountains and uh, and then pulverize mountains simply by punching it with his arms and then uh, one day he said to his uh, guru lord shiva that you know um 
there's nobody, you know, I got this benediction. There's nobody to fight with. And then, uh, so I'm feeling, you know, frustrated. Actually, he was he was kind of indicated he wanted to fight with Shiva. <laughs> but Shiva could recognize that and he said, you foolish rascal, someday you'll meet your match and all of your all your desires will be finished. <laughs> and that was when he met Krishna, Krishna and destroyed all of his arms and left him with only two arms left. <laughs> and because of Sh Shiva was there and um, and protected his devotee, Krishna, somehow or other. Didn't kill him, but he destroyed all of his pride by smashing all his power. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so that propensity to fight is there within the living entity. It's natural because it is coming from the Supreme Lord. Even Krishna arrange for himself to come to the material world to fight and in the spiritual world everyone is a devotee so there's no need to fight there but the lord also has that tendency and desire to fight so there was an arrangement that two of his gatekeepers would commit offenses and have to fall to the material world as demons and so the lord could fight with them and that was the the, the three manifestations of Jai and Vijay, Ranikashipu, and Haranyaksha, Ravana and Kubukarna, Shishupal and Dantravarka. And then after that, one more, that was Jagai and Madai. So, um, this uh, propensity to fight especially for those who are martial spirit it becomes prominent and they like to fight we also like to fight but we don't really know how to fight we fight in a wrong way or we fight for the wrong reason and we're always feeling unhappy because of that we like to uh, show our individuality by you know taking a stance different from everyone else and then protesting in that way or sometimes we just get angry and we start punching the wall, throwing things, <laughs> doing all kinds of nonsensical things to exhibit this, this mood of fighting. Because without anger, one cannot fight. <laughs> one has to wax anger. Um, even Arjuna, when Krishna told him, you have to fight. He, to fight means to uh, bring out that anger in a protected way. That's why it's in devotional service, if one is using anger as a service for the protection of others or for defending religious principles. Like we have the example of Srila uh, Prabhupada. When Prabhupada was teaching his fledging Western disciples, he would see how sometimes they were so uh, blundering things that he would sometimes exhibit some anger. For example, in Holland, in the Netherlands, back in the late 60s, there was a uh, Didi installation going on. And uh, it was uh, televised in the local area there in Holland. And Prabhupada was there and the devotees were meant to perform a yagya. And uh, the deity was there, but they somehow or other couldn't understand how properly to perform the yagya. And Prabhupada was trying to conduct it and they were doing always the wrong thing. Uh, and Prabhupada was getting quite irritated. And this was being televised also. And there were people on the local level too who were sitting there watching this yagya. And Prabhupada was directing, do this, do that. No, no, not like this. And uh, 
I mean, obviously he was getting quite animated in trying to help the devotees do it right. And, and uh, you know, this, so one hippie, he happened to be there and he was, he came up to Srila Prabhupada, so Prabhupada, how Prabhupada was getting so annoyed with the fact that they couldn't do anything right even after telling him. He, he said to Prabhupada, he said, Chan Hare Krishna. <laughs> and Prabhupada looked at him like, get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. later on, someone who watched it on television said, wow, you're a spiritual master. He's really, really good. <laughs> they, were, they were seeing how, they were appreciating how Prabhupada was dealing with the situation. And he was though he was quite upset to see how the devotees weren't weren't able to follow even though he was telling them. So yeah, this principle of anger is there, and it brings about a fighting spirit. But in devotional service, one should give up the tendency to become anger angry, at least on the on the, on the level for one's personal. Uh, gain when someone does something we don't like or when we get frustrated and trying to ex ex uh, fulfill our desires we may uh, anger starts to arise they say anger is a the younger brother of desire so material desire unfulfilled as the, the, the verse in the Bhagavad Gita explains Dayato Vishayam Pumsam Tesu Sangat Sajayate Sangat Sajayate Kama Kama Kroda Vijayate Kroda Bhavati Samoham Samoham Sriti Brim Brahma Sriti Brahmsa Bodhinasa Bodhinasa Panasati By contemplating the objects of the senses, lust arises. From lust comes anger, from anger, bewilderment. When memory, when memory is bewildered, intelligence is lost. When intelligence is lost, one falls down again into the material energy. So this uh, anger causes one to fall in Krishna consciousness. But here we see when a king gets angry against the miscreants or against the wrongdoers and takes action, in a very forceful way, he, he is actually serving according to his capacity in a way that is beneficial. And that was Maharaj Prikshit here. And you'll see how he deals with the age of Kali. He personifies himself as a low-class man. He dresses himself as a king, and he's causing harm to a cow and a bull which represents uh, the pr principles of religion and the process of pure devotional service. <laughs> so uh, um, this particular verse here uh, shows how um, the, uh, a righteous king, one who represents, truly represents the Supreme Lord, is always uh, enthusiastic to make sure religious principles become stay for, foremost within his kingdom. Nowadays, the leaders don't care. They make all kinds of bad policies. People criticize them, and nobody really appreciates them. And, uh, and they're always... Uh, under scrutiny, they're always being criticized, yet they continue on with their nonsense. Sometimes people just get so disgusted with the leaders that they don't even follow them anymore and just act like they don't even exist. <laughs> of course, they're, they have their influence and therefore one is affected by bad leadership. But good leadership in it means to serve those who they are leading in a way that they get everything they need and at the same time practice the goal of life, self-realization. 
Here the symptoms of Kali Yuga are mentioned. These are the four, uh, four principles of knowledge. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no meat eating, and no gambling. Dilip Prabhupada has instituted these principles as foundational for the devotees to be free from the influence of Kali Yuga. As it is explained, these four principles represent all sinful activity. And if one can carefully and continuously restrict themselves from breaking these principles and at the same time practice devotional service, one makes progress. If one is breaking these principles and trying to perform devotional service at the same time, it's like trying to start a fire at the same time pouring water on it. You don't get anywhere. No fire develops, no heat comes in the same way, and no progress comes in spiritual life. If one is breaking these principles, they are foundational for developing spiritual character and spiritual character is the, the means by which we can offer our service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So these four principles are fundamental. When the, the devotee, when a devotee wants to join in a very official way, he takes shelter of the spiritual master and a bona fide representative of the Supreme Lord. And they agree on the time of their initiation to follow these principles throughout their whole life. Prabhupada used to say, don't take initiation. If you are, you cannot follow these things. And only when you are absolutely 100% certain that under no condition will one deviate from these, these principles, in other words, uh, commit offenses, based on these principles, only then should one come forward and take initiation. Um, one may feel like that at the time of initiation and become enthusiastic, but one should understand that initiation means beginning. It's not something that now you have become initiated and therefore you are, you know, a devotee. No, you're actually putting yourself on the path of pure devotional service at the time of initiation. And then the progress comes by you know, uh, do, act, doing things that are beneficial and avoiding things that are unbeneficial. So to, uh, to not follow any one or all of these principles are unbeneficial for one's spiritual progress. And they also cause the spiritual master difficulty because he is accepting the karma of the living entity when they take initiation. And if they don't follow, then he also gets a reaction from them breaking the principles. He has to undergo some difficulty also. And uh, therefore one should be very uh, serious in the execution of devotional service. It's not like these principles are uh, what we say adjustable. They are absolute. The definitions are explained in the Shastras. There's also one book which describes the four regulative principles. So one should learn uh, how to execute these four regulative principles and make sure that they seriously follow them. And if they do that, then their progress in devotional service is readily developed. In other words, it's rapid. What causes us not to make progress in devotional service is when we improperly execute the process of devotional service or go against the instructions of the spiritual master. So one should be very serious because it is a serious thing. It's the difference between taking birth again in this material world as opposed to achieving one's natural constitutional position of being uh, a, a lover of the Supreme Personality of God.
Sometimes there are there are yogis and so-called spiritual leaders that say, yes, you just do all of these things and you can do anything you want. You can eat anything you want. You can do go anywhere you want. You can do You don't have to follow any rules. You just, uh, you know, you chant some mantras. You offer me some dakshin. And then you'll make some nice, you'll make spiritual progress. But these these are cheaters, charlatans. They have no stance in any position in spiritual life. They think by making the process easy, they're um, they're doing others a favor, but they're not. It's just like when a child is doing something wrong, and the parents say, "Well, you know, it's a child. Let him do whatever he wants." He won't, he might not like me restricting him or, you know, teaching him in a different way. No, these restrictions are there and they have to be followed. And the spiritual master has to impart knowledge to these uh, disciples by which they can get the strength to follow these four favorite principles. It's easy to follow principles for one year, two years, five years, but go on 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, your whole life. That's why Srila Prabhupada said, if you chant 16 rounds every day from the day you are initiated and follow these principles to the end of life, he said, then you're qualified to go back home, back to Godhead. <laughs> Simply by chanting 16 rounds and following these four principles without deviation for your, your whole life, that that qualifies you for uh, liberation into the spiritual realm. Okay, so these four principles are very important. They're mentioned quite often, and they're emphasized as the foundation by which one can keep away the effects of Kali Yuga. <laughs> Thank you, Mars, for such a wonderful class, and. Um... Um, really nice points for us to really meditate on, and, and and especially I my what what I was appreciating the point that you mentioned about how important it is for us to realize that when we take initiation, it's not that we have immediately graduated; it's actually the beginning of our devotional life. So thank you for uh, for making that point, and a very good reminder for all of us too. Would like to I'm going to stop sharing, and I would request devotees if um, you could please ask your questions. And if you can also turn on your videos, I think we already have a question in the chat and I'm going to read that. Um, there we go. Um, let me go up a little bit here. Hare Krishna, dear Gurudev, please accept my humble obeisances. So all glories to Sri Prabhupada and you, Gurudev. I heard there are also demons in Goloka Vrindavan as well for the pastimes of Krishna. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to understand what that means. It means that there, there are no actual demons in the, in the spiritual world. It's not possible that demons can enter into the spiritual world. But in order to enhance Krishna's pastimes, the word semblance, so there's an assemblance or an appearance that there are demons. But this is Yoga Maya's potency and only just to, en to enact these different pastimes in the spiritual world for the pleasure of Krishna. But there's no real demons. I hope that helped Rishabhadas Prabhu. It's Any questions? Sorry, Marge. It's Leela, that's all it is. It's, there appears to be demons, but there's no demons. Hmm. Thank you, Mark, for clarifying that. Any other questions from devotees, please do raise your hand or you can put it in the chat and I'll be happy to read it. Marge, when you were mentioning, um, actually in the purport, Sri Prabhupada was saying that Marge Parikshit uh, detected a slight infiltration, you know, into his kingdom with the, with the symptoms of Kali. And I was just uh, uh, thinking that how can we, Maharaj, as practicing devotees on a daily basis, uh, detect the infiltration of the material desires in our lives? Well, 
we have to uh, we have to read the books to understand what is what is bhakti and what is not bhakti what is material what is spiritual what is beneficial and what takes you away from the process that's why we have so many books um the acharyas also give us hints of these subtle aspects of the different desires the gross ones they're more obvious we can see them but the subtle ones which are the roots of the gross ones are more are less detectable therefore when we hear from the acharyas the spiritual master we can uh, start to see that what what i'm doing may i might think that i'm okay but it's not it's some kind of material tendency coming out in the form of devotional service and um you can find that in uh, in madhurya kandambini by bhakti i'm sorry vishwana chakravarti thakur and he explains the subtle aspects of maya or material designers on again off again you know enthusiastic for a while and then and then loses enthusiasm uh sees that material benefits are the benefit or the indication i'm making progress in devotional service there's there's the more subtle aspects and if we don't if one doesn't rid themselves of these subtle aspects then the gross ones can also reappear <laughs> As the, the subtle ones are the roots and the gross ones are the things that are visible the roots are unseen just like when you see a a, a plant you can't see the roots because it's buried in the earth but the root the roots give life to the plant similarly the subtle aspects are the roots of our material desires which come in the form of these more gross manifestations such as illicit sex intoxication meat eating gambling and various types of activities which are designed for personal uh, gain personal satisfaction thank you marsh madura katambini yeah it's it's the subtle that is so hard to catch or detect or be aware of it's so subtle but yet it's so deeply rooted, like you said, Marge. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Marge. I was thinking I was so advanced and now I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I got my subtle desire for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah, the subtle. Thank you, Marge. That, that, that was, and I will definitely, and I think we have a copy of Madura Kadambini, the old copy. I have to look for it. Thank you so much, Marge. Uh, yeah that's wonder i mean throughout Prabhupada's books he talks about these same subtle desires mm. it's there it's there throughout the shastra uh in chaitanya and charitamrita it's also mentioned very explicitly very clearly in madhya Leela. Thank you, Maharaj. Ma Madhya Leela, you said. Okay. Yeah, the process of devotional service is not so much, it is doing the right thing, but it's more about not doing the wrong, not doing the wrong thing. If we stay in the process, we get rid of all of the contamination. The contamination is our, our material our desires to enjoy this material world both subtle and gross. Thank you, Marge. Thank you so much. Yes, Priksha, go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept our humble obeisances. All glory to Chira Prabhupada. Thank you for the lecture, very enlightening lecture, as many of them, as all of them practically are. Um, question about initiation. The person, as you explained, has to um, uphold their vows in their lives when they do that. Um, 
you know, get to the point where they want to get initiation. Now, um, my question is, since it get, gets explained to the devotees, and you did that this morning, that if a devotee does something that's bad, then the spiritual master that's initiated the devotee will also bear part of the, you know, the fallout from it, for lack of a better word. And there's some trouble that comes to the spiritual master also. Um, yes, this was said to be some way back by my state of my eyes. And I repeated it in some lectures. And what I got from it was some devotees coming to me privately and saying, well, I want to take initiation, but I don't want to hurt my spiritual master. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not perfect. But what I do sometimes is going to affect my spiritual master. It makes me feel very awful. So maybe I shouldn't take initiation. <laughs> she didn't take initiation. Now, I've dealt with it as best as I can, you know, because if you don't take initiation, you don't go back to Godhead. So it's even worse. But my question, though, is Is it possible for the body to get around that issue by, by praying to the Lord and saying, Please don't disturb my spiritual master for anything I do wrong? Put it all on me, because after all, I'm the one that's causing the problem. Would that be a worthwhile prayer to Lord Goranga? For that. Well, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that answers the question in my mind. But yeah, I I don't know of anybody who have, who have, has thought in that way. <laughs> but mm. uh, the thing is, the spiritual master enters into a relationship. And he's willing to accept the devotee. And as long as they adhere to the principles. Now, if they break the principles, then he is. He, that sinful activity caused by the created by the disciple has some effect on the spiritual master because the mm -hmm. spiritual master is carrying that disciple, um, that's disciple, uh, and ultimately he's offering the offering to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And mm -hmm. so if he's not able to offer the activity, then he's not able to do, he's not able to uh, serve the Lord by serving that particular person. Mm -hmm. It's just part of it's 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 more or less connected with the law of karma. Mm. That if you perform a sinful activity, and you're under the guidance of a leader, you say even too even you see, if, if the children do something wrong, there's a reflection upon the parents also. Mm. If a, yeah. you know, if a student does something wrong and it also reflects upon the teacher but in the case of spiritual life because the spiritual master agrees to take that person back to godhead and he agrees to accept his karma then uh, there's a contract there mm. and if they there is a bro break break in the contract by the disciple not following then there is some reaction it could okay. be very small. Sometimes it's very, Prabhupada writes about it. He says, because he said, because of the sinful activities of my disciples, I have to see bad dreams. Mm. He's in the canto, he writes that. Or the, sometimes the spiritual master will get sick. Mm. So I have to undergo some physical difficulty because of that. The spiritual master doesn't fall down or his spiritual life is not impaired by a disciple's sinful activity, but on the physical level, he may have to undergo some, some turbulence. Mm -hmm. But that's up to Krishna how much he wants to allow the spiritual master to suffer in that way. But the scriptures say, this is spoken by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and it's mentioned in the fourth canto that one should not accept too many disciples because all of that kar karmic burden 
sometime can weigh heavy on the spiritual master and depends mm -hmm. on the the uh, prowess of the spiritual master his spiritual prowess mm -hmm. if he's not so strong he will undergo some difficulty if he's strong then he may find less difficulty and if he's really strong he will he'll probably not feel any difficulty at all it also depends on but again Mahaprabhu cautions and then the question is what is too many disciples <clears throat> that's why it says in our movement there's always an encouragement for people to come up to the standard where they can take take on the role of becoming a spiritual master that way they can uh, uh, that will facilitate more and more people coming to krishna consciousness and not overburden too much the the present spiritual masters with too many disciples especially nonsense disciples Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I've got to run out and go start another Zoom class right now. So Thank you very much for answering the question in detail for me. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. That was a very nice question. Thank you. I've actually heard that from a couple of devotees, Marge, that it, you know, so it was very interesting because I've never heard that for so many years. So this, that was the first time that I've heard devotees ask that question about I don't want to hurt my sports myself. So, well, that's pretty compassionate. <laughs> well, don't do it then, you rascal. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You don't want to hurt it. Do it. You have a choice. If you're if you're feeling weak, go to your spiritual master and get some get some strength, get some mercy, get some guidance, get some mm. assistance. Thank you, Marge. Thank you. Yes, Balaji Prabhu, go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, Maharaj, regarding um, uh, the topic you were uh, highlighting about anger management, uh, right, I have a question. So, in our spiritual process, you know, uh, in this Krishna, while raising the kids in the Krishna consciousness uh, environment, sometimes, you know, we do, you know, tend to get anger on the kids when they are not, you know, following, you know, in the right uh, pathway. Uh, is that okay or, you know, how do we control anger in such situations, Maharaj? Oh, get it for a parent to get angry with the children. Anger could be used as a means for correction. Because obviously, we, we assume the parent has love for the child. When love is there, anger is, is a means by which love is given in a corrective way. That's all. And that's not, that's natural. That's, that's not wrong. But you have to see if that if that becomes the only means by which you use correction and then then one has to see that maybe i'm using anger maybe i'm getting angry unnecessarily so anger is a a feature that can be used for how, giving guidance and help to others who are you know acting wrongly hurting themselves and hurting others but but if you get angry all the time, then that means you that means you are somewhat subjected to that influence. So anger you have to you have to use anger and not be used by anger. You have to control it and not let it control you. If it controls you, then then it's negative. If you if you know how to control it and use it for a beneficial cause then that is acceptable and also desirable. Thank you so much. Prabhupada could, could do that. He could get very angry and the whole place would shake, the room would shake, actually. The devotees would be, you know, you know, come on, frightened. And then Prabhupada could just, he could just, the next minute he could turn it off and it's like it never happened. 
So, yeah, a great soul can use anger as a tool, but not and not become controlled by it. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Prabhupada. That's a very nice question. Thank you. Any questions from devotees that you would like to ask, please uh, do raise your hand or you can put it in the chat and I'll be happy to read it. Marge, uh, go ahead, Devi. please go ahead. Thank you, Ansiya. Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Prabhupada. Uh, Guru Maharaj, I'm sorry I <clears throat> lost power a little bit. But uh, just uh, remembering Ma Parikshit Mahara, uh, Parikshit's uh, Prabhu's question about I don't want to hurt my spiritual master. I remember uh, young people telling me that uh, taking initiation is very scary. Uh, it's a very scary thing to take initiation because uh, then you have to follow all those vows and what if you don't follow? So it's better not to take initiation than to take initiation because what if you don't follow them? And I would think that it's so much more scary not to take initiation after coming to the human form of life. So I used to be so taken aback hearing these things. I didn't know what to answer. <clears throat> and again, I'm sorry, I missed a part of uh, what Parikshit Prabhu asked and what you said. What would you say to young people who say, or anyone who says, oh, it's very scary to take initiation. So I'd rather not take initiation. Well, if you're practicing bhakti, the third stage of bhakti is to take shelter of the spiritual master. There are nine stages and the ninth stage is perfection. So one has to go through the different levels. And the third stage is Tad Vigyartam Gurum Eva Abhigat's chain. One must take initiation. If one takes up the process of bhakti, then initiation becomes part of that process. It comes at a certain time in the devotee's development. So it's inevitable then you now why even take up the, the process? It's all right. I'll just chant and I'll read and I'll be a nice person. I go to the temple by even take initiative. Yeah, that's fine. But you won't you won't be able to get rid of your anarchists because the anarchists are there by the mercy are removed by the mercy of the spiritual master who gives relevant instructions to the disciple on how to practice. And so taking initiation is a requirement for advancement towards the goal of Krishna consciousness. So, but you might look at it this way. Throughout life, we have to take on responsibilities. And some of those responsibilities cause us to become more serious. For instance, when you get married, you should understand, you know, another person's life is involved with you now, and there is a responsibility to actually act in the proper way and work together as two to uh, develop a relationship. So that's a responsibility. Uh, marriage is a great responsibility. So that's one example. So initiation also is even a greater responsibility because it doesn't come every life. It only comes uh, by the supreme grace of the spiritual master who somehow or other uh, allows uh, Krishna's mercy to flow even more into the, the general population. So we preach to raise people up and then when people get raised up to a certain point, and start practicing, then initiation is one of the stages of development. It's required. That's why that verse, Tad Vigyar Tam Gurum Eva Abhigats Chay. The word Abhigats Chay means to, one must accept the shelter of Krishna's representative, the spiritual master. So life itself means responsibility. We have to take responsibility in life. We take responsibilities when we go to school. 
to take responsibilities when we, did, when we enter into a relationship with another person. Everything in life means to become responsible in different ways according to the relationships we develop. But Prabhupada would say, if you if you can't follow, and you know you can't follow, then don't take initiation until you actually come to this to the point of saying yes. I I will follow under every in any condition. It doesn't matter whether I feel like it or not. The responsibility of human life is self-realization. And that's part of the process. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Are you cold? Also, you look very cold. Yeah. You have no heat too, Sri Devi? Oh, Krishna. Cold. And no heat. Nice oh. combination. <laughs> well, at least... I don't. I feel better now. I'm, I don't have to suffer alone. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, Marge. At least you have a buddy too <laughs> that feels your pain and your cold. I keep preaching. I forget about it as soon as a class ends. I'll go back to my normal state. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Very nice question, Sri Devi. Really, really nice question. That was really deep. Thank you. Any questions from devotees? Please do raise your hand or and you know put in the chat. I'll be happy to read it. Um, let me see if I'm missing anybody so I don't forget. Yes, Namrata, go ahead. Hi, Krishna Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. So, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Bhakti Charu Maharaj says that uh, the holy name is in him, it in itself is capable to take one to back home, back to Godhead. But for one to surrender, uh, he needs the spiritual master. So um, when we look up to the disciples of uh, Srila Prabhupada, uh, the level of surrender was more than than the second generation or maybe after that <clears throat> so what would you um, suggest or advise to for for developing more surrender because when <laughs> Shri Prabhupada was there he uh, his potencies were more, were were enough even to um, you know because you said that Many of them were not qualified, but Srila Prabhupada, uh, because he was there, he could do it. So later, after when generation goes, what, what would be your advice to develop more surrender? <clears throat> well, the spiritual master doesn't, he doesn't die. He just disappears from our vision. So he's still personally present in the form of his words, words are called Vani. So you might say there's a little extra effort that is needed when the spiritual master's personal presence is no longer available. But one who strictly follows the Vani is actually getting the personal presence of the spiritual master through the instructions of the spiritual master. Prabhupada used to say, I, and there's never a time when I felt separation from my spiritual master. I, he's, he's always with me. We have to understand spiritual master is always with you. But how much you adhere to his guidance is how much you can experience his presence. Why Vani is higher than Vapu, although Vapu can enhance Vani, but when Vapu is not there, Vani is still doesn't lose its potency and can bring one to perfection. Thank you, 
Thank you, Guru Maharaj. I think that was a very nice question too, Namrata. Thank you. Any questions from devotees? Please do raise your hand and I will call upon you. March, I, I would like to ask the question on um, the subtle desires that are so deep rooted again. And and thank you for actually you know uh, sharing Madhuri Kadambini, uh, Madhilila and Chaitamrita. March, when we see and then trying to link the issues of the deep rooted problem along with initiation and sometimes we think after a few years of practicing devotional service as initiated devotees we have the tendency to somehow oversee or forget the really subtle deep rooted problems how can we help one or a devotee marsh to actually see that subtlety without getting angry <laughs> I'm trying, I'm tying all the three points into one question. Well, association of devotees works in such a way that it inspires us in devotional service. It guides us to, to act in the proper way. And it also uh, reveals our anarthas. We can see when we're associating with devotees when and whether these certain characteristics that are not uh, devotional may manifest more easily in that association. It becomes like a mirror in that association. Now, when you're associ associating with devotees, you, you must practice humility, you must practice tolerance. Because then it becomes obvious that you're not in the proper mood of association. So yeah, association devotee is is like the is like the fire that's put onto the butter. It uh, brings the impurities to the top. <laughs> So much associating with devotees really brings out the stuff within us that it will help us to see and recognize and then hence nip it in the butt, as they say. Yeah. Mm. Comes back to Sadhu Sangha. Wow. Thank you, Marge. Thank yeah. you. That's, I mean, there's others. Personal introspection is also a, a means that by which we can uh, understand more about how we're practicing reflections, asking. I mean, if you're married, you can ask your husband, what's wrong with me? And he'll tell you. Husband can ask the wife, what's wrong with him? He, she'll tell him. And that's good. That's why you get married. Thank you, Marge. It's a, it, it, it's powerful because because I've I've had situations where devotees. Well, I am associating with devotees, but then I'm thinking probably the association is not, lack of a better word, fulfilling to the point that it is showing our stuff and helping us to clean up the closet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought I was a nice guy till I got to Delhi. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just more like Roni Kashi <laughs> <laughs> Because it's so cold with no heat. Oh, I'm, I feel so bad, Marsh, for you, oh, Krishna. The thing is, when when it starts getting warm, then all the oxygen is taken out of the air by the heater. Yeah. And you, get a, you get a headache that way, so you can't win. <laughs> yeah, that is true, Marge. Yes, that is true. There's no central heating. It's just, just, just these uh, electrical heaters. That's all they have. Oh. There's no central heating at all. There's nothing. 
Wow. Austerity. Oh, Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Real austerity, Maharaj. Yeah, you might think, oh, I'm going to be like, you know, Rishab Dave, the Supreme Lord. I'm not going to bathe for at least a month. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hopefully you get some warm boiled water, Marsh. Mix it with a little and get some warm shower, a warm bath. Well, that, the warm water is there. It's the air is freezing. <laughs> the air, the, yeah. That's, yes, yes. They say you should never take, uh, if you take a warm bath in a cold room, you could, you could get, definitely get sick. Yes, that's true. The, the warm water opens up your pores and then the cold comes in and then it enters more into the, your system. Mm. Yes, that's true, Marge. That's true. Sri Devi, please. Next time, Guru, Guru Maharaj, where is when is your next destination happening? Next destination is is London. Oh, they have central heating there, right? It's colder there than it is here, but at least you got you got some heat there. Here, there's no heat. <laughs> when when are you leaving for London, Guru Maharaj? I just can't bear this. I mean, too. I'm I'm leaving on the nineteenth, which is in two days, two and a half, three days. So. Oh my god! Oh my god! Three days is what will be like three years, Maharaj. Yeah, exactly. Can somebody do something and help you, Guru Maharaj? Yeah, yeah. I could um, chant Hare Krishna and make believe <laughs> I'm not cold. <laughs> okay, all right. No, I mean, in uh, India is like that. It's just the cold. There's no, there's no heating systems. I mean, there are, but it's only certain people have them. I happen to be at a home where there's the family doesn't have any heat. Everybody's walking around with hats and coats and long pants. <laughs> Like I, I think they have to cook all day to bring the heat from the kitchen into the house to get the <laughs> make it warm. My host was telling me she keeps warm because she keeps running from thing to, from service to service. She really? said, "I just keep so busy that I'm I'm not so cold." <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So much you can book your flight next time from Mumbai <laughs> if you are yeah. in the wind. Mumbai these is heat, better. These heaters don't really do the job anyway. We have to pray that the, that the three days goes really fast for you, Marge. I'm going to go to sleep tonight and wake up on the 19th. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mar, we're gonna pray for you really, really hard. This is, I mean, I, I mean, seeing you feeling so cold, and I'm looking out of the window, and there's snow all over, and I'm like, okay, this is like <laughs> really feeling it for you, Marge. You want to see somebody who's even more colder than I am? How you does Takor? How'd you know, <laughs> <laughs> Marge? Because you travel with him, Marge. You want to see? I, I show yes, you. Yes, I would love to, Marge. Take his darshan. Yeah, he's uh, really, uh, he's smiling, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, tell me if you can see him. Not yet, Maharaj. A little bit lower. I, I cannot see him, Maharaj. Which way do I have to move it, up or down? Downward, down. Oh, oh my, okay, let's do this. How's that? There we go. And closer. Oh my God, he is so cold. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cold. Yeah, he's still smiling though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I feel so bad, Maharaj. Oh, Krishna. That's all right. He's, he's praying to you. <laughs> oh, Harry does talk was cold. <laughs> Sri Devi, baby, God got to pray real hard, Sri Devi. <laughs> that the three days fly by like. 
<laughs> Guru Maharaj, uh, why did you choose to go to Delhi when you know it's going to be so cold over there? Well, I, I keep my stuff here at this one home. So I go in and out of this one place. It's a nice family, very nice family. But this is the first time I've come in this time, this time of the year. So it's just the time of the year. Delhi is so bad that uh, flights coming in and out of Delhi are, are being canceled because uh, the fog is so thick here that they cancel flights. They can't even go in and out. Delhi is the is the uh, more or less the most opulent city in uh, in India. I mean, you you see all the cars. People have the nicest cars here. I mean, all the cars are like looks like you're in the West, you know. But still, it has so many problems. And Prabhupada said, he said about India. He said. Uh, the advancement and material advancement in India is artificial because people are not inclined to that. They don't know how to deal with it. Of course, there are some people who are nicely situated materially and are also devotees. So there's a variety of things, but... Um, Anyway, I'm I'm just making a little light of the coal thing. You know, I it's it's not hard to tolerate. We just have to that's the whole process of Krishna consciousness, learning how to tolerate uh Martis Parsis Tukunteya Sitnusa Sukha Dukada, Agapaino Nityas Tamsi Tiksua Bharata. We have so many things to tolerate in life, and one of them is the, the excess in the weather. Mm -hmm. Come in. Yeah, so I'm just dramatizing the whole program here. And I mean, we just have to learn how to tolerate, it. and that's all, all we can do. Let me just adjust. That's all. There's one one king. Yeah, he had everything in in his kingdom, everything he could possibly have. Un, unrivaled kingdom, wonderful subjects, uh, treasury was full, great military, powerful, nice family, everything was perfect. And the one day he said, he was feeling a little bored, said to his ministers, kings have collections of ministers to give advice. He said, I want something that when I feel happy, it'll make me unhappy. And when I feel unhappy, it'll make me happy. So the ministers were quite bewildered. <clears throat> they couldn't figure out what the king wanted. But one minister was a little bit intelligent. He said, just give me one day and I'll have something to fill your desire. So the next day that minister came back and he, he had a ring and there was an inscription meant, written on the ring. And he said, wear this ring and every time you feel happy, you look at it and you'll feel unhappy. And every time you feel unhappy, you look at it, you'll feel happy. And so the king put the ring on and there was four words on there this soon will end everything in this material world is temporary happiness is there distress is there sometimes you're rich next day you're poor one day you love this person next day you don't want to see him at all <laughs> Everything changes in this world. <laughs> so we have to somehow or other stay above all of these dualities given by the material energy and just focus on 
on on devotion on Krishna. Which is above all the dualities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mai, for reminding us about that. We get so caught up. I get so caught up. Let's put it that way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Any questions from devotees? Anything that you would like to share, would like to add? And let's pray we, that that be. Yes, Maharaj. Can we keep this class going for three days? Because I, then I won't be able to. <laughs> Any, any much? <laughs> if it's possible much i would be happy to but like you mentioned the dualities of the material life is not <laughs> it, oh i feel so bad now <laughs> oh, i must be okay. so cold in delhi i can only imagine it's crazy yeah. Can someone go out and buy you an electric blanket or something, Guru Maharaj, to wrap around and just keep yourself yeah. warm? Well, I got, like, they gave me a heating pad, which is the size of my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's small. That's small, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. Sounds Marja, I, I, I think you second Sri Devi? Sounds terrible. I, I really know. think that a electric blanket or something, you know, to wrap around and at least stay warm so you don't fall sick. Oh, but, but, but Marja, do you have a portable room heater in your room? Yeah, but it gives out very little light. It's it's like trying to get warm by putting your hands over a candle, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's oh, nothing. That's terrible. It has a very low BTU. It, yeah, it just doesn't function. <laughs> because Marge, you're just missing your winter coat and you look like you're about to travel. I, I got I got a few layers on. One, I can two. imagine that. That's what it, you're like ready to travel right now. <laughs> next to your next flight, you're all bundled. Oh, Krishna. Well, I got Marsh I got something. I got this soon will end. So I have something. <laughs> I look I have something to look forward to. Two more days, Marsh. Two more days. Two more days. <laughs> Sulpesh is saying. How about doing a hover for Mars to keep you warm? <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, you can do a fire sacrifice and send the results over. <laughs> <laughs> a little bonfire. <laughs> do they I'm, have a little I'm... garden or a backyard, Guru Maharaj? You can pile on some logs and ask them to start a bonfire? I, I'm i just dramatizing the whole situation just to make light of it. But anyway, uh, it's not, you know, it's tolerable. Okay. Marsh, would you like to end with one round of chanting? Will that help give some fire, some heat? Mm -hmm. Well, the, I might pronounce the mantra of my... <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ra, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama. Rama, 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 Rama. <laughs> Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maharaj, no, I don't, I'm sure you will not do that, Maharaj. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> okay. They say when nothing else works, just take Prashad. <laughs> that that would give some body heat at least. <laughs> that's, that's 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 the reason I'm suffering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for your concern, but 
you know, I'm just I'm just dramatizing the whole thing a little bit. It's not that bad. <laughs> But Marge, you look so warm bundled up that it's not warm. That's why I said, oh my gosh, it's like you're bundled up and you're still cold. Yeah. And the thing is, if you get cold, even if you have like six layers on it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It's true. It doesn't do anything. Yep. You have to get the body warm. You do a little pranayam, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> we have to pray for you more looks more miserable than I do <laughs> <laughs> oh Krishna oh, how about some warm soup with a little pepper and some uh, ginger and things ginger like that. yeah okay <clears throat> I'll write that down <laughs> okay let's chant Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaur Bhaktivrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <coughs> Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare Hare. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare 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 Krishna. Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Oh, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare R
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasudhi Gaur, Bhakti Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maharaj, and thank you to all the devotees for joining us. Before we end, let's pray that Maharaj can really go by this three days fast, and he can go to London, where he'll get heat in all the rooms, wherever he goes and stays. Maharaj, we'll be praying for you and thinking for you, Maharaj, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. I have a, a, a request, either for from Sri Devi or from Namrata, either one. Um, if either one of you have a copy, soft copy, of my uh, um, daily diary, the first one, which is um, the year 2000 to 2002, I think devotees were getting it regularly, um, a complete copy with back and front cover included along with the text. Um, if you could send it to me, I, don't, I can't seem to locate my copy. My my I might have deleted it or did something with it. So uh, it's the first one, Volume One, Daily Diary, two thousand two to two two thousand two two thousand to two thousand two, which includes the front and back cover on it. The front cover has Prabhupada's lotus feet on it. Uh, so if either one of you have it, or maybe who else, maybe Srimati might have it, or Bhakti Susana, or anyone else who has a copy of that, please send it to me. Okay, I'll try and look at uh, that, uh, if I have that particular daily drop, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, I, I want it with the uh, cover included in the in the in the whole file and not separate from the file you mean you want the uh, soft copy meaning you want it by uh, computer yeah soft copy means computer yeah yeah so uh, daily drops uh, i don't believe i transcribed any of those guru maharaj so I'm... No, i no you didn't be but you they were made available when they right when they were right ready. okay i'll try to find it yes guru maharaj i will daily drops 2000 to 2002 volume one okay yeah thank you yeah thank you so much. thank you thank you to all the devotees yes susanna go ahead you want to say something Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. Do are you thinking of this one? Um, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the cover. Yeah, I so have it. A hard copy. You have a hard copy. I need soft copy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can um post it to you, maybe to London or. Do you need the soft copy? Yeah, um, we're gonna turn it. We're gonna turn it into a book. I have some publishers that want to work on it and make it a, an actual book. So, maybe I can scan, uh, if it's if it would suit. 
Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if you can make a copy of your copy and then keep a, <laughs> and send send your send one of the copies, um, I can give you an address in in India. The, the hard copy would be good too if they could receive it. Either way. Okay. Um, just let me know about the email, um, the mail address and I will uh, send it there or either I can scan uh, so that it will be a PDF format. And scanning won't work. No, scanning okay. you can't do. You can't do anything with a scan. Okay. Um, you need to be able to work with it. I see. Okay. Anyway. Thank you very much, and we'll see everyone tomorrow. Uh, good Thank morning. you. Yes, go ahead, copy, Sridevi. But it is without the cover. You're insistent that you want the cover, right? I want the whole thing in one one package, not the not not separate. Okay. All right. I'll try to search some more. I did find it, but without the cover. Okay, I'll look through my uh, records. Thank you. Okay, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai. He's holding the Chandramali oh. Swami Ki Jai. 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 A wonderful day for us. Hari Hari Bol. Thank you, Guru Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.